Hey everybody, Mr. Megatosh here and Apple just released macOS Monterey 12.0.1 Release Candidate 2. Only two days after RC1. We're getting really close to the public launch of macOS Monterey coming on Monday, October 25th. So I'm going to go over all the information you're going to need to know about this update along with some news on the new M1 MacBook Pros and Open Core Legacy Patcher 0.3.1. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Let's first go over the other releases. Apple did not release release iOS and iPadOS or watchOS release candidate 2 updates today. Apple only released iPadOS 15.1 release candidate 2 and it was only for the iPad mini 2021 so that was really interesting. They also released Xcode 13.1 release candidate. The RC2 was released as a developer beta and a public beta right from the bat. So if you're a public beta tester, you don't have to wait another day any longer. You can install the update right away. If you uninstalled your profile, like I talked about in the last video for beta, you will not see the RC2 update. So if you want to see it, you'll have to reinstall the beta profile or use SeedUtil. SeedUtil is the binary that is used in the profile install that basically just sets you to the developer seed or the public beta seed. So if you look I've got an article that I'll put in the description that'll quickly get you right back to the developer seat by just running one command. So you don't have to go out there and download the whole profile and install it that way. So you can get RC2 or you can just wait until Monday for the release of the final version. Apple did not release a full installer for RC1. I mentioned that they would release it the next day, but that did not happen. And what's even worse is it does not look like Apple is going to release the full installer for RC2 either. Apple did release a M1 IPS that will restore file if you have an M1 device. So if you want to be able to get to the latest version, you'll have to use the full installer of beta 10, then update to RC2, and then you'll be at the latest release. Let's look over the install sizes for the RC2 release. If you look here, I said that RC1 was an all-time record of a smallest release. Well, guess what? RC2 just broke that record. It is only a 919 megabyte update. But when you look over on the total size, it is 1.73. So let's go back and look at that. If you're coming from beta 10 to beta RC2, it's two gigabytes. And if you're coming from beta nine, it's 2.3 gigabytes. Now let's talk about the M1 Apple Silicon firmware update, the T2 Intel BridgeOS update, and the Safari updates. What's interesting is, is that RC1, Apple did not update the Apple Silicon M1 firmware, but they did in RC2. It went from 41.4 to 41.5, and they did update the T2 BridgeOS in RC1, but they did not update in RC2. So that remains the same. So the same thing with Safari. They updated it in RC1, but they did not update Safari and RC2. Now let's talk about the build version. The build version increased only by one from 21A558 to 21A559. Now notice it doesn't say beta in here and it is not a four digit build version. So this means that this is going to be very close to launch. They still might release an RC3, but this is the version that is looking like it's shaping up to be the version that we might get on Monday, October 25th. Let's go over how long it took to install 12.0.1 RC2. This broke all the records from previous. I told you that the RC1 was fast and it was also a small update. Well, this was the fastest that any previous update has done. And again, probably because there's very few changes. The total preparation time only took five minutes, the fastest that I've ever seen for Monterey. Installation part from the progress bar in the black screen after restart, took only 18 minutes and a total start of preparation to a usable desktop only took 23 minutes. Again, this is the fastest that we've seen. Now let's talk about the changes in the update. There really is no patch notes change. When I looked at the patch notes, like I always do with my comparison, all it found was is that there was a Xcode 13.1 RC change in the patch notes and that's it, nothing else. So there was no documented Apple changes, not even any undocumented changes that I've been able to find yet. But but there is a change that I forgot to mention in the RC1 release, and that is a new dynamic wallpaper. Let's go into System Preferences, go into Desktop and Screensaver, and let's go to click on Screensaver. And now when we scroll down, we see a brand new Monterey Screensaver. Let's take a look at what that looks like. 
Now, what's interesting about this, it looks very close to what the original preview looked like when Craig announced Monterey in the WWDC keynote. He showed a sweeping look through the Monterey purple colored mountains and it went all the way through and it showed the Monterey logo. So this is a really cool screensaver and I think a lot of people will like it. Let's quickly talk about the release date. I already mentioned that the Monterey final version is going to release on October 25th. But a lot of people are saying, well, what time? Normally, Apple drops their updates at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time in the United States. So that is when everybody will start to see the Monterey show up in their system preferences. So let's see what that'll look like. So right now, if you have a Big Sur software update, this is what you're going to see. You're just going to see macOS Big Sur 11.6, but nothing else because you're at the latest version. But on Monday, here's what you're going to see. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this Mac into the developer seat with that seed util like I showed you earlier on my website. So we're going to run this command, type in the administrator password here. It's going to add this Mac to the developer seat, and we're going to see what this looks like. And what you'll see as soon as macOS Monterey is released on Monday, Monday at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. And there it is. Instead of it saying beta, it's going to say Mac OS Monterey and then show the size right here. And then all you'll need to do is click update now. And what that'll do is download the full installer into your Macintosh hard drive applications folder. And then you're going to see install Mac OS Monterey right here. And then it'll pop up. The window will actually pop up right here and say install Mac OS Monterey. What I wanted to mention is before you update to Mac OS Monterey, keep in mind this is a very first version. Of it's going to be 12.0.1, the very first version. Even though they went through multiple macOS Monterey betas, there still might be some small things that might be going wrong in the very first public release. I would say just hold on just a little bit, or if you want to jump in the day one, that's fine, but make sure that you have a backup of all your files, including a time machine or a USB hard drive that you, you copy all your files over. Again, most likely the upgrade will work just fine for you, but if you find that it, there's a problem with the upgrade or maybe one of the critical apps that you need doesn't work on macOS Monterey, you might be in a tough spot if you don't have a backup and you might need to downgrade or something like that. But again, for most users, when they upgrade to macOS Monterey, things are going to be just fine. But again, I give you a little bit of caution before you make that jump. Now let's look at those benchmarks between RC1 and RC2. RC1 single core was 1756 and 7727, and RC2 was 1753 and 7745. Really close to what RC1, so again, no discrepancies there. Now let's talk about the new M1 MacBook Pros. They have been available for order since the Monday announcement and they've already had the shipping times fall back for over a month to a month and a half or more. If you ordered one now, you wouldn't get in until November 19th all the way to the 29th and they continue to fall. Now what's interesting is, is that some stores are gonna have some stock on Tuesday, November 26th. So you might be able to get in there and get some stock in the store and some of the best buys and stuff like that or electronic stores might have one so just because you weren't able to get one shipped from apple doesn't mean you might not be able to go into one of the stores and pick one up right away but it might might not be able to be configured exactly like the way you want it option wise so that's some really interesting news on that also i want to talk about benchmarks some of the new macbook pros have been getting into the new early reviewers hands already and they're running it against geekbench 5 and look at these stats here the single cores are same like we just talked about with that M1 Mac Mini earlier in the video, but look at that multi-core. Almost 60 to 70% faster than that M1 Mac Mini. It really is impressive. The other thing I noticed too was the build version. I was thinking that the build version would be on 12.0.1. All the new M1 MacBook Pros that have been going through the Geekbench 5 score have been on 12.0.1. And what's interesting about that is it's possible that they installed the software update before they did it. When these started happening last year with Big Sur, we did see 11.0.0. So it'll be interesting to see if some of the ones that come in after this will have 12.0.0 or they'll all be on 12.01. 
Now let's talk about a little bit of Open Core Legacy Patcher unsupported Mac news. I mentioned in the RC1 video that some of the developers were looking at RC1 and they found that RC1 broke the non-metal accelerated graphics for 2011 and lower Macs. The good news is, is the nightly patch of 0.3.1 has fixed this and we're hoping that 0.3.1 might make it to the main line to be able to download before the official release on Monday. They're looking at RC2 just to make sure that there's not any final changes that they might need to patch up before then. I'm not going to put my video out until I've got a full installer of the final release and a stable version of Open Core Legacy Patcher is available. And that is coming really soon, so stay tuned for that. And that's it for macOS Monterey 12.0.1 Release Candidate 2. Are you getting excited for the Monday's release? Are you going to install it on your Mac on Monday? Let me know in the comments. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And you can bet I'll be there on Monday ready for that final release. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.